Hello folks, Mike G. Um, and in response to um uh I'll put the link um for Bill's video about um his practice regime um saying that uh he's got really good at the practice. Uh you know going through his routine and playing scales and certain licks. Uh, maybe in time or not with the metronome, um, and it, it kind of, kind of um, resonated with me because I, I went through a period of uh, obsessive practice a while ago, where I just played through. Um, there's a there's a video or a DVD um, by Frank Gambali called The Chop Builder. And uh, there's there's a book with that with a booklet with a, with a load of scales and some licks and um, the idea is you play through the whole thing uh, at a certain speed with the metronome and you don't move on until you can play the whole thing seamlessly without stopping. Um, so you'd run through each scale each t eight times. Uh, and then move straight on to the next scale. So, for instance, you, you started off with the um, Ionian. And after you've done that eight times, straight to Dorian. And on to the next scale, and, and so on. So, um, eventually, you'd have played it all through eight times. And then there's a, a load of licks you do as well. Um, and then once you've done that seamlessly, you, you take the speed up with the metronome. Um, eventually you can whiz all around the fretboard without too much problem. <laughs> It's like it's like training for uh, for I don't know for an Olympic sport. You can you can practice the the sport itself, or you can do physical exercises like you know uh, in the gym. But those sort of things um, are kind of supplementary. And I found that the uh, the whole shop builder thing, the routine, was supplementary because. You get to the point where there's nothing musical going on. It's just this kind of Olympic da 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 da. -da. Okay, tomorrow I'm going to get to 140 RPM, BPM, sorry, and play. Um... Great, but there's no music. Uh, so, which is, which I think is what Bill's talking about. So what I found was useful to do. Uh, it was a number of things actually. Um, one of those, first of all, is is to just take take um, take a few minutes just to play something leisurely. Try and find something that you haven't played before. Um, so because because you're so used to running through the scales, uh, up and down. Try and make some music with with the shape. Uh, rather than so uh, just just say for instance the um so you, you get to the point where you've you've gone yeah I can run up and down the harmonic minor um, so take 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 a point in, in that scale. Any point.
eventually what I found was I, I could I could use the the scales in a way that was musical, um, and and for me the best thing was with that um, everybody plays the pentatonic or used to and uh, and the blue scale and I, I tend to favour that blue scale shape all over the board. Um, so what I found was what that made it much more musical as opposed to just saying, okay, I'm going to use this. Instead of just using that scale, I'll, I'll go, I'll go for uh, the harmonic minor in G and the blues scale in G and kind of juxtapose, juxtapose. That's a nice big word, isn't it? It's effective. So you have to try and kind of empty your mind really and um, just let your fingers do the work because they've done so much work, there's so much muscle memory going on, they know their way around the fretboard. Um, so I mean even if you just think of like, take the voice recorder on your phone or, or uh, and just put put down some chords as well. And just play that for for three or four minutes, and then and then then play over it, and and so, so you don't. I mean, you don't need to use the blues scale and the harmonic minor. You can you can pick others. So say for instance, um, I'll take a more uh, um, majorish approach. I'll take that Dorian. It suddenly sounds more varied and musical. Um, <clears throat> again, you just need to empty your mind and uh, uh, just let your fingers do the work. Um, and another thing, another thing I did. I think I think taking and taking a song that you like that you don't necessarily know. Uh, and just learn the whole thing solo as well and play along with it a few times so just just i don't know say for instance uh, ozzy osbourne <laughs> Sorry about the singing there. Um, it's just an example, but the, the thing is that there's there's a lot going on that you're not necessarily 
So, so the, the the basic riff is just this E D E thing. But Randy Rhodes has chucked this in as well. So, I mean, it's just it's just it's just an idea that that you may not necessarily have used before. Because it's not something you listen to all the time and you haven't learnt it. I mean, I, I found that the stuff you listen to all the time, you, you play a lot. So if you take that song, any song, whichever song, um, learn the song, learn the rhythm part. There might be two guitars in there. Learn both guitar parts. Uh, learn the solo. I mean, the, the solo in that one is just... Ridiculous, because got this. And that, that whole diminished thing is, is, is really, really something you can throw in anywhere, in, in your own little way. Um, but it's just, you're just drawing something out of what, because what, what you, you're never going to, you're never going to use that exactly yourself anyway I think <laughs> mm -hmm. and I found that um, if you take it um, um, a guitarist I just rip rip the stuff to bits I don't mean I don't mean critically I mean uh, analyze it uh, learn as much of the stuff that they've done as you can because because I mean I've been playing since I was 10 I've been learning to play since I was 10 and I'm still learning and I teach as well I, even though you think you've reached this point where, you, where, you, where you're really good and, and then you'll meet someone who's, who's been playing for 2 or 3 years and you, you watch them playing and, and they'll do something and they go what have you just done there and they, I've never seen that before I've, ne I've never thought of doing that I mean, if the law of diminishing returns says that's going to happen less and less. So, and it does, it does. But uh, there's always something from somewhere that you can learn about. Um, let's take a song like... Um, D, C, and G, foot one, four, five in the uh, in G major. Simple. But it, the way he does it is so so much much more imaginative. To, to take an open mind and, and it's 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 easy to say well Van Halen's a pile of shite I'm not going to play that anything you like Motley Crue's a pile of shite I'm not going to play that so but there might be something in there just just that's gonna that's gonna join a few dots for you um so just pick pick some random stuff some songs you, you might know sort of on the periphery of what you really like and 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 take that that guitarist's Material and, and 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 work through it, and, and it'll you build some musicality into your playing. Um, I 
think I think one of the main things though is just uh, it's just to play, and in, in a kind of um, context where you're so used to this regimented. Um, just forget it and. Uh, making things up. That's a really good point actually. The um um the song Sultans of Swing it's got so many um, ideas in there. If, if you if you play, it, I mean, this is all just an example again. But if you play through that song, and I'm rambling now, but you get the you get these. Um, it's just A to D. throws in this um just to see you got this um it's all just an, an A7 so we could have just gone um um and then because we've got the seventh in there it goes to the G sharp, which you wouldn't expect. Then the seventh again, the G, and then to B. And it's something you can you can you can draw on, and you can you can use that idea. Um, thing is get in a band <laughs> get in a band and play some lead guitar throw in your own solos um okay so that's that's pretty much I've pretty, I think I've covered everything I was gonna say so uh see you next time folks <laughs>